this week in social justice warrior cannibalism. You, did you hear this about BuzzFeed? I could not hear it about BuzzFeed. You did hear it about BuzzFeed. I did. He has to cue, not Gadget has to cue this up. Um, people got mad at BuzzFeed, accusing them of being racist for doing this video, 27 questions for black people. Uh, the entire video, of course, is based on the idea of stereotyping black people. This question is only directed toward black people, so I know I'm not supposed to answer it, but there was so much buzz. See what I did? There was so much buzz about this that I am... Clever, I'm, clever, clever. All right. I'm going to do this. We're going to do this. I'm going to answer all of these questions. I know, I'm white, but I am going to try and, and, and not approach this from, from black, white, penis privilege, non-penis privilege, pansexual, from a logical perspective. So stay with me here. Let's roll the clips. Why is it so hard to be on time? Like, why does 5 to 10 always become 20 to 30? I, I don't find it hard to be on time at all. I don't have a problem. Do you have a problem? Is this, are you insinuating this is a black thing? This is a bad start. I suffer from it, too. If my dab is on fleek, am I lit? I don't know what that means. I'm not going to lie. This is probably where the cultural differences come into play. Let's move on. Why is it a problem if I like anime? Who says it's a... Who says it's a problem if you like anime? Why do black people look at your shoes before they greet you? I've never noticed that. Maybe I'm just not so self-focused that I'm looking at them and greeting them. I've never noticed black people always looking at my shoes. And if I did, it really wouldn't bother me that much. I love shoes. You and Dick Morris, moving on. Why are we more likely to engage in the new dance trend than we are to get involved in politics or opening a business? I don't know, that's a good question. Maybe you should ask the executives at BET or the Oprah Network who constantly decide to fill the market demand with dance programs as opposed to those regarding politics or opening businesses, I guess. How did watermelon become our thing? Like, everybody should love watermelon. This one's fairly straightforward, albeit an ugly history. It goes back to southern slaves tied in with southern culture where watermelon was very common. Also, it's delicious. Why do you get upset when I don't like a black celebrity? I, I don't. I don't get upset. I don't think anybody gets upset if you like a black celebrity. Are you implying that all black people get upset if you don't like every black celebrity? It seems a little bit... Racist, except for Denzel. If you don't like Denzel, you should be jailed, just like Bill Nye wants to do with uh, climate change skeptics. Race aside, some people are just terrible. That wasn't a question, but agree. Why do we call each other the N-word, but get vehemently upset when a white person uses the N-word? I've been wondering that myself. Funny you should bring it up. I wanted to bring it up, but if I do, I lose my job. It drains my soul to hear the word, and I just don't understand how people who have any understanding of history can use that word. I would agree that people who have no understanding of history are probably most likely to use that word, as many of you seen in this video. Draining your soul sounds like a bit much, uh, but it's bad. Not a question again. You're not getting this. Why is my natural hair, the hair that grows out of my head, seen as a political statement. First, thank you for specifying the hair that grows out of your head. This could have taken a weird direction. I don't know anybody who considers it a political statement. Where is this coming from? I don't know people who look at my shoes. I don't know people who hate you if you don't like all black celebrities. And I don't know people who see your hair as a political statement. Are you tar and feathering all of us this way? Or is it just black people? Do you hate black people? Why do we think people with light skin look better than people with dark skin? I don't know. That's not a preset rule. Nobody here is, you said it. You're the only one who said it right now. Do you really believe that black is beautiful? Or is that just something you say because it sounds cool? Why do some black people say that you're pretty for a dark skinned girl? First off, I would never say that to you for multiple reasons. I also don't know that anybody uses that buzz phrase. Some people like black people, some people don't. Some people like blondes, some people like brunettes, some people like redheads. That's what we should be talking about. That's getting into fetish territory. You ever met someone who likes a redhead? It's creepy. It's unnatural and it's creepy. When that is said to me, it still makes me feel like the ugliest little black thing. Again, what, this is a statement, and why is this thrown out as a generality? It seems very specific for someone to say, you're pretty good looking for a black girl. Why is this being tossed out to the general populace? Also, uh, talking about the redheads earlier, I meant men who like redheads. Redhead women are attractive. Redhead men get the short end of the stick. Casey, you know what I'm talking about. Why do some black men only date white women? Statistically, that's not true. It's observably untrue. Why is it okay for black men to date white women? but not okay for a black woman to date outside her race. I don't know that that's true. You seem to be the one assuming a whole lot here. You're copy-pasting some of your emotions 
On to something that's not statistically observable. Pause, it's time to plug our corporate overlords. Audible.com, great service. If you go to audible.com slash Crowder, this week you can download a free audio book. It's great, you can listen to audio books, you can actually learn something, unlike this video here at BuzzFeed, and you can have it playing on in the background while you're playing Angry Birds or doing something else. I recommend this week Mark Levin's Liberty and Tyranny. He guides his life and all human life through the prudent exercise of judgment. You have to get used to the voice, but it is a great foundational book in understanding the central role of the federal government versus states' rights. Audible.com slash Crowder. Make sure you go. Now we continue suffering through the video. Why do you protest Black Lives Matter? And then tear each other down in the next breath. Ah, that's a fair question. One that I would direct toward the Black Lives Matter movement leaders, uh, DeRay and Sean King, who, little known fact, is not black. Await their answer with great anticipation. Why do we say that we don't want to be seen as a monolith, but then try to take people's black cards away for not liking something that's supposedly black? It's actually a good point. It's not really fair when people do that with people like Condoleezza Rice or Herman Cain or Dr. Ben. Oh, we don't talk about them. Why are we so quick to support a non-black owned business, but then hesitate when it's a black owned business? That has literally never entered into the equation when I go into a business. I couldn't care less if it's a white business or a black business. I only care about good business. As a general rule, I don't even know who runs the business. I don't have a checklist. Oh, is this, okay, everything else is good. Great service, gay quote, but I did black guy, I can't go. Damn it, that's another one. I gotta cross off the list. I mean, is there a cutoff time for this whole homophobia thing in the black community? Cause I'm really looking forward to that. I suspected you were a lesbian. The answer to that one is short, probably not. Why is growing up without a father so common in our race? That's actually a very good question. And I would go back to the previous statement because when leaders of the black community like Larry Elder or Thomas Sowell speak out against it, they get told that they're not black enough by people like the social justice warriors at BuzzFeed. Why don't we like to confront our mental health issues? Therapy is such a wonderful and magical place. Seems the insinuation here is that there is a disproportionate amount of mentally unhealthy people in the black community, which I think makes you a racist, and I probably shouldn't address that because, again, I could lose my job. Why is there a checklist for being black? I don't know. Again, you'd probably have to ask the pariahs of your community who are intellectual and try to be very helpful who you deem to not be black enough. Generally, they're more conservative and big on personal responsibility, but they're just Uncle Toms or something. Why is being educated considered a white thing? Why can't I love school and also be black? It's not considered a white thing. I don't consider it a white thing. If you look at the grants and affirmative action and scholarships and quotas, certainly academia doesn't see it as a white thing. What are you on about? Why do I have to be mixed in order to have long hair? What? Why do you think well-off black people don't know what it means to be black? I don't know. Why don't you ask leaders in the black community like Al Sharpton or Jesse Jackson or Black Lives Matter who tell you that if you're well-off, you don't know what it's like to be black. Black isn't only defined by adversity. I don't know. Again, I'm not. Why do some black people say, Oh, I have Native American in my family in order to feel interesting or more valuable than other black people around them. I have literally never known any black person to do that. That's probably why you don't hear a whole lot of jokes on the Chappelle show or the latest Chris Rock album about what's the deal with all these blacks claiming they're one sixteenth Cherokee. I think you just have some deeply rooted self-esteem issues and you might need to get down to them because you're cluttering this whole video. Yep. Why can't we just acknowledge that there are a bunch of different types of black people walking around and they're all amazing and unique and special in their own way? It'd be a lot easier to do if he didn't just toss out these general questions as though all black people are on the same page as you. We within the black community are so quick to kind of tear each other down and to look towards other races in terms of their success and in terms of what they have, but never want to kind of look into the mirror ourselves. It's either looking to other races or looking in the mirror, one or the other. And again, I would go back to black leadership like the Al Sharptons, the Jesse Jacksons, the Sean Kings, the DeRays. Why do they tell you that it's your job to tear down people like Larry Elder, like Thomas Sowell, like Herman Cain? I love black folks. But that doesn't mean I don't have questions. Questions. 
Yeah, I, I get that. I think this video has raised more questions than it's answered. Why do black people look at your shoes before your face? Why am I only allowed to grow my hair long if I'm biracial? Why is it seen as a political statement? Why do I have to claim that I'm part Native American to be cool? These are not common threads that any race is aware of. Not white people, not black people, as seen by the reaction from the black community to BuzzFeed. So if you're asking these very specific questions and throwing them out as generalities and then complaining about generalities, maybe the problem isn't the black community, maybe it's not the white privileged community, maybe the problem is you. Maybe the problem is your friends. The problem is your friends at BuzzFeed. Thanks for watching this free video. I hope you got your money's worth. There are other free videos playing in these boxes, or you can subscribe for free. Speaking of free, Head on over to audible.com slash crowd and really take advantage of the free audiobook special going on this week. Not only do you get to learn something, but you get to support this channel and more free content and we get to keep the lights on. Damn it.